Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I'm going to discuss further into parametric curves and now go over example six of the example series. And uh, this one's going over uh, graphing devices, which is a pretty interesting topic here. Before I get to the example, I just want to state so that most graphing calculators and computer graphing programs can be used to graph curves defined by parametric equations. In fact, it's instructive to watch a parametric curve being drawn by a graphing calculator because the points are plotted in order as the corresponding parameter values increase, which is actually pretty cool, and I'll show you that in a bit. So now let's jump to the example, and it states, use a graphing device to graph the curve x equals y to the power of 4 minus, yeah, minus 3 times y squared. Yeah, so what's interesting about this example is that, well, it's not given, uh, we're not given the parametric equations, but uh, that's not a problem. I'll show you how we can still write this in parametric form. Uh, but first, uh, we can graph the solution as is, and it looks like this. So we just go here, put a link here, and you can view this exact link when you download the notes. And as you can see, when you plot this out, this, this is a pretty cool calculator here, uh, you'll get a uh, shape that looks like a capital E, kind of like that. So it just goes like that. That's the shape. I pasted it here, but we don't know. Um, yeah, we don't know the nature of it too much. But what we, what we can do is uh, we could write this same equation in the form of a pair of parametric equations. So what we can do is let t, that's the parameter, equals to y. So then what happens here is now we have the x is going to be equal to, so the equation here is uh, y, y to the power of 4 minus 3y squared, so the y's become t, so this is going to be minus, uh, this is 4, so t to the power of 4 minus 3y, which is t squared, like this. Yeah, so then this is the uh, first parameter equation, and the second one as well, just y equals to t, because we've set it equal to that. So now we have a pair of parametric equations, which is pretty cool now. So we've written this exact same curve, but now writing it as this form. Yes, yeah, so now if we were trying to graph this parametric uh, equation, this, this set of parametric equations, well, what we can do is, well, go to that same Desmos uh, calculator, which is pretty cool. So the resulting curve sketched by the parametric, parametric equations is the exact same as before. We can click this link, I'll get to that. But note that we can play around with the t values and see how the points are plotted. And we can also show a point on the graph uh, and follow the path it takes as t changes, which is actually very cool. So we click this one here. Yeah, so here we have the exact same shape. But if you notice here what I've written as, uh, I wrote t uh, to the power of 4 minus 3t squared and then comma t. So the way this works is if you put this bracket, that's just a point. So this is the x-coordinate and then the y-coordinate is just t. And where t is graphed from negative 100 to 100. So if we change this, for example, let's go to 1. So notice this whole half gets off. So if we go to uh, 0, it gets something like that. So as you can see, when you change t, we have different uh, area of the curve. So let's just go back to 10 or 100. So yeah, it goes uh, pretty far off. So 8 is still away. Let's go to 7 or negative 7. Negative, uh, let's go with 3. Still far away. Negative one is there, so let's go with negative two. Negative two is all the way there. So, which is this is pretty cool. Let's write again 100. So, what we also have here is with this Desmos calculator, you could do write this exact same equation like that, but now write. I'll just change it to write a. So the reason is well, you can hide this curve or show, and then you can show this point here, uh, and then what you could also do is set a equals to any number, and then you could have different values of it. So as you can see, this is graphing the point. So this is where it's the exact same equation, a to the power of 4 minus 3a squared, and then comma a. And I just did this a so that we can show this at the same time. If you didn't have that, so we, as you can see how it plots. It just goes like that. You can also press the play button and show it going back and forth. And you can change these values to whatever you want, which is actually quite amazing. And you can just click this to show. And as you can see how it follows, along. This is actually quite amazing. Okay, so yeah, so that's how it looks like. And now let's just write this in general form. So in general, if we need to graph an equation of the form x equals to g of y, we can use a parametric equations. And this one will just write x equals to g of t. And then where 
uh, y is simply equal to t. So we just said y equals to t and then we can graph it along like that. And also notice that the notice also that the curves of the equations y equals f of x, these are the, the ones we are most familiar with, I graphs of functions, just y equals to whatever, can also be regarded as curves of the following parametric equations. So then in this case we just said x equals to t and then y is equal to a function of t, f of t like that so we could just have it something that looks like that. Yeah now as an added bonus I'm gonna go over some really cool graphs so basically graphing devices are particularly useful when sketching complicated curves for instance the curves below would be virtually impossible to produce by hand so here's a cool shape like this and it's from the Desmos calculator again I'll click this link so yeah, again, if you want to download these notes, this is actually cool, very cool, you can play around with these. So I've done the same thing, here's a cool um, uh, equation here, this is x is equal to, in this case, t plus 2 sine 2t, two and then y is the 1, I mean t plus cosine 5t. And then I wrote the same thing with a, just so we can change the value, and notice how it changes, which is quite amazing. So I've made it from negative uh, 4 pi to 4 pi. This is absolutely amazing. So these are really cool graphs like that. Let's pause that. So now the next shape, yeah, so again, this is our x coordinate, and then we have the y coordinate. So that's how it's written. You just put a bracket, write, write it down, you could change the t values. And then, yeah, so then if, uh, for this case, you could do the same thing. You could write a equals, you could also write t equals, and then it will make it so it's an animation too, as well, which is pretty cool. And now another shape which is absolutely amazing is this shape here. So this one is this equation. You have the x is here is equal to cosine. Yeah, cosine minus, uh, yeah, cosine of t minus cosine 80t times sine t. And then you have uh, the y is equal to 2 sine t minus sine 80t. You can do the same thing with the a, etc which is quite amazing. You, look, you get a shape like this. And if we click this here, and now what we'll do is, well, uh, let's just press play to see how the values change. So as you can see it rotating around, this is absolutely amazing. And you could also slow down and increase as well. So notice how it's getting faster and faster. Let's see where it is. Yeah, so right now it's there, let's just slow down, it's hard to see. You could also change the rate at how many steps it does. This is a very fine and it's still going, let's see where it is. Let's try to slow this down. Yeah, so there it is, it's rotating around. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing here, just going on and on like that. So you can see where the uh, where the point changes, etc. Et and this is an absolutely amazing curve. And here, put it right here. And also you could do is uh, you could stretch it as well and see how it looks if you want to stretch the, uh, the x coordinate or shrink the y coordinate. Absolutely amazing. Just go put it back normal. So, and uh, further, uh, one of the most important uses of parametric curves is in computer aided design, or CAD for short. In later videos, I'll go over special parametric curves called Bezier curves that are used extensively in manufacturing, especially in the in the automotive industry. Yeah, I just fixed that typo there. So, it's used a lot in the automotive industry, and also these curves are also employed in specifying the shapes of letters and other symbols and laser printers. So stay tuned for that. Those are some absolutely amazing uh, usage of these, um, you yeah, these Bezier curves. And also they'll go over the history of Bezier as well. These are absolutely amazing. So this is actually one of my favorite topics, this and polar coordinates and all of calculus, just because these some of the most amazing uh, shapes you can graph by just simple or relatively simple equations, which is quite remar remarkable like this shape right here. Anyways, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, and I strongly recommend downloading these notes and then going to these links and playing around with the uh, equations, especially the param parametric equations and seeing how the values change. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's all for today. If you learn, like always, you can download these exact notes and link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.